150 million metric tons of plastic are found in our oceans, and there is said to be a steady increase in greenhouse gases in our atmosphere, causing the Earth's ozone layer to deplete over time. Along with this, there is a predicted 15% increase in droughts and a 23% increase in floods, along with an array of human health and sickness issues. Issues like these not only affect humans, but also the animals and plant life that reside in our oceans. And we hope to help friends like Geronimo, the shark, and hopefully we can achieve this goal and save our oceans. We learn about ocean pollution in school events and assemblies, but how can I, as a teenager, help? I don't have the resources. Well, that's where we come in. We know that lots of people can make a big difference. And what does everyone love? Games. Besides being a great way to gain support of millions of people, games can be a great way to inform users about ocean conservation, while also working to gain funds for the cleanup process. And best of all, it engages the younger audience, the leaders of tomorrow. So you might be asking yourself, how exactly does Triton work? Well, I'm here to tell you just that. We plan to allow visitors access to an array of games where they will accumulate points that they can put towards specific places and regions. Once our team discovers what places our users most want to see a change in, we will then recruit volunteers from local schools, organizations that are willing to try and help the ocean pollution effort. Once they collect these plastics, we then plan to resell them to big corporations such as KW Plastics, who we have been in touch with for the past couple months. After the plastic is collected, we then plan to provide our users live updates, live feeds through our Instagram, uh, Triton.Oceans, and hope to keep our customers more in touch with the whole process. Specifically target the huge from ages 10 to 24, seeing how they love to play games, but are often underestimated due to their age. We want to show them that they can do something too. After all, today's youth is tomorrow's future. One of the things we value most here at Trident is our customer satisfaction. That's why we make sure to ask plenty of questions to ensure we deliver the best product possible. In a recent interview, we asked, what are your thoughts on ocean pollution and the organizations that work with it? Here are some of the results. There are many big corporations, all of which that have the same goal as us. Ending plastic pollution. So what exactly makes us different from our competitors? Well, I'm here to tell you just that. Four Ocean is an extremely notable company. They are known for taking donations from their patrons and giving them small gifts and bracelets in return. Though these may be satisfactory, the moment they do not keep patrons hooked to the cause and continually fighting for ocean pollution. Much like Four Ocean, the Alliance to End Plastic also receives donations from patrons and gives them some incentive to try and continue, but does not keep them hooked to the problem. Unlike the Alliance to End All Plastic Waste and Four Ocean, Triton does not ask for donations in return for cheap gifts, making us more affordable and engaging as we're doing something that everyone can love and everyone can afford. Now, we may not be as popular as them just yet, but that's because we're still new and we're still working on growing our social media presence and getting a reputation. Five major ways to gain funds from our users. The first will be through donations for people who want to support us but don't have the time to put into our app. Our second way will be through advertisements which will be played from every three to four games. Our third way is through a premium mode where users can pay to get premium access to exclusive games and no ads. Our fourth way is by selling the plastic that we collect from our volunteers who are doing on-site work. And our last way is through competitions, which will have an entry fee. These funds will be used towards equipment and advertising. This past year, we've already developed a beta testing model that is in the process of being reviewed by our peers, students, etc. to see the input from a wide, wide audience to see how our product works and what refinements might need to be added to it in order for it to be at the top condition for our users. Along with this, we have been working alongside coders and sales managers in order to make sure that our product is on the path to success and that we will have something that can really bring an impact to this world. By the end of 2023, we hope to have 200 full-time users on our product. I'm Aninita. I'm Jivika. I'm Tuisha Gotadio.